no matter how they're doing on the field, Wisconsin loves their Packers. That is right, and so do we. Super Bowl champ William Henderson joins us now to talk about a fun charity bike ride this summer, and Henderson's Ride for Hope is what it's called. Used to be a pedal bike ride, but now we're adding a little power behind it, aren't we? Boosting it up a little bit uh, <clears throat> because of the layout of the area and uh, traffic control and things like that. We decided to step it up a little bit. I'm a bike rider of Are you? any style, so I, I ride motorcycles as well. So fortunately, this year we're able to partner with the House of Harley, Greenfield, and uh, we're going to make it a motorcycle ride. Including motorcycles. Right. Awesome. Motorcycle going to put you on the spot just a little bit. Get your thoughts on the firing of Coach McCarthy. Uh, the team does what it needs to do. I mean, I've, I've Fortunately, during my 12 year uh, tenure with the Packers, I, I played under the past four Packer head coaches and they made choices that they felt were needed. I was really hurt when we let Ray Rhodes go. A lot of yeah. people wanted that move to happen. Uh, I liked him too. I, I, I mean, he, he really actually brought my career back because I was le looking to leave the game before, uh, before he, he came. Uh, but again, they made decisions. So the Packers have, have been uh, Packer fans. We've been spoiled uh, just enjoying winning seasons. And this year yeah. has been kind of a letdown or it has been a letdown because yeah. we had so much promise uh, early on. But things happen. They're making a move. I wish you Mike the best. I was happy that the team let him come back to address the team because he was fired when the players weren't around. Yeah, and that was an unusual move. Yeah. Yeah. Mid-season, you know, players weren't able to kind of capture the moment, have a chance to digest it. Literally, you're gone, Philbin's in, and it's an opportunity for them to, to start rebuilding, uh, getting ready for next year. And unfortunately, Philbin's at a, a tough position because what do you do? Do you continue to play to win? Or do you play for a draft choice? And mm. you got to appreciate the situation he's in. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, they were able to win the first game. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of pressure, though. It's a lot yeah, of pressure. I know. Yeah. Well, I wonder as somebody, you're one of the top five most played, like in player in most games. I don't even know how you want to say that, but you've played the most games, one of the top five um, Packer players yes. having done that. Yes. And I wonder as you kind of look back on your career, if you feel in the moment that it's, it's the coach or the team that's truly contributing most to the win? And where, where is that coming from? Is there a specific spot, or is it really that whole as it goes? I was fortunate to be a part of an event a couple of weeks ago with former Packer mm -hmm. players from the Super Bowl 31 team. The chemistry between us is amazing. Yeah. We all played together. We had Ron Wolf there talking about how the chemistry went all the way upstairs. We could go into his office and talk to him like he was one of the, not one of the guys because he was our boss, but we appreciated the way he was able to communicate with us. There was a chemistry that needs to be there for a team to be successful on that, uh, that next level. There's some level. magic, right, the, that it, happens it with winning teams. Magic. Like, you can feel it, I feel like, when the, it's so cohesive. Every play is designed to be a winning play. So coaches can throw anything out, but it takes the chemistry of all players playing together together for the same purpose, which is why sports is so special of a profession to have yeah. because very rare you're going to find that many people uh, in an office or in an environment that playing actually for the same purpose yeah. and playing professional sports was so special because of it. I was very fortunate to be a part of a tremendous amount of successful teams and it hurts a ton when you don't have success and you know you have most of the nucleus there, but you're, yeah, still, missing, you're yeah. still missing that one element. And coaches can call plays, but players have to go and complete it. And the players yeah. have to believe and buy into the system. And I just think there was a little bit of miscommunication going on that caused the issue and just wishing everybody continued success. Yeah, forward. we love yeah. our Packers. Got an important message for kids. I do, I do. Uh, Henderson Helps is stepping out. We're rebranding uh, Henderson's Ride for Hope uh, to Henderson Helps because we want to be more inclusive of every opportunity to, to give back to the community. Uh, they need to know that uh, I'm still going to champion the, ki the kid cause. Anti-bullying is still my, my platform. I'm trying to get involved in the communities. And fortunately, this year, Greenfield has welcomed me in with open arms to help the community and get into the schools and, and do what we can to help the, the issues that kids are facing. What so, do you say to kids? You know, because I, I think kids listen to you. You know, they're yeah. like, they look up to you. There's this big guy who, you know, they're like, oh, man, you know, he could be a bully because he's a big dude yeah. and here he's this big teddy bear. So uh, what do you say to them? Well, the, the first thing I have to communicate is that we all have stories. I mean, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a big guy. I was a big guy back yeah. in the day, but there were always equalizers. They could put big guys in their places. Uh, but when kids hear the, my story and that, you know, I went through it. Now it's a different severity. And Were a different you bullied? Degree. As yeah, a kid? yeah. I, 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 I spent my my senior high school. I spent in the art lab when I first came. I couldn't go into the common area of the hallways. 
because there were threats against me and things like that. So I literally, uh, I had, I, again, I, I, a lot of people back home know me, yeah. but I truly only say I only had like five to seven friends. Yeah. That I, and, I, and I try to help kids understand what's the difference between a friend and an associate. And yeah, yeah you got a lot of associates at school, but a friend's gonna be the one that's gonna keep you on task, on target, and, and helping to get you to, to work to your true potential. Yeah, help and you I, be better. I, my goal is to help these young people that we're going into schools find their true potential and help the other kids know that their community benefits when everyone is working to that same goal. Yeah. I like that, that friend mission. associate thing that's fantastic. Yeah. Ride. Um, so the Ride for Hope is coming up June 14th and 15th. So you really want people to get this on their on their calendar now. Write it down. <coughs> you got some Packers <coughs> friends, not associates coming yeah, out to Packers, help you. Friends, right? family. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big group. A lot of the guys that, from the Super Bowl 31 team are coming. It's going to be a big event. Awesome. Looking forward to having everybody out. That's fantastic. Grab your oh, motorbikes so this great. year. Great to see you. Happy yeah, holidays we love to having you. you here. Thank you so much. You Sorry us. I came in a little early. That's oh, okay. okay. We, we love it. You can come in a peak of their Henderson. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. We yep. appreciate it.